Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy, and I believe that we are just starting classes now. Um, so yeah, Let's see what is going on. Uh, no thank you. Continue. Where am I? Um, Rebellion. Yeah. There's nothing around here, is there? Interesting. Okay. We're just gonna. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was for me. Is that all you've got? Yeah. Levioso! Professor Hecate! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. <laughs> Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with the basic cast. Dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprise. Good. Now, the basic cast. Well done. Levioso. way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Okay. Protego. 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 Lucky. Nothing lucky about it. Levioso. Levioso. A perfectly executed Levioso. I know. Not okay. bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. 
I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelow's entirely. Understood, I Professor. Agree. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Is that a level All up? All right. That's enough Rebellion. spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Here. Thank you. If you know the right spells, it's... Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep... Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? <laughs> it felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. Excellent. I agree with this. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck, or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Okay. Till next time. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Um. It's a rebellion. Something. Okay, that's just me. Hmm. Here I go wandering. Let me answer. Rebellion. I have to keep going up, but I don't want to keep going up at the moment. Oh, yeah. What? Uh, Lumos. I cannot tell where that is. Interesting. What are you up to now? Uh, you can. <gasps> Kitty. Keeping well, I hope. Revelio.
Mm. Rebellion. Oh, I see you. I really thought there'd be something here. All right. Lumos. Let's go get some XP. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Interesting. Revelio. Resource indeed, your field guide. What the heck? Levioso, Protego. All right, I'm good. <laughs> Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. Revelio, we sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't back. necessarily want him I'm to get sure back to lots the of people are And then the werewolves join the goblins, goblins in the uprising. werewolves! Where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752! And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was um. out of the boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, oh, fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack! Was the minister a boot or the I don't minister know what a the hell flat? Stop Level it, Pete! You'll lock. get us in trouble! In trouble you will be, but you can't get Rebellion. She says it's a boot, and he says it's a boot. I don't know what I'm watching there. Lumos, Levioso. Aha. Revelio. Heck yeah. Lumos, Levioso. Hmm. This is gonna be a lot of an like we're exploring. Revelio. Oh, look at that. Or how much money I actually have. Can't catch peeps! 
No. Interesting. Lumos. Oh. I was just up there. It's not up here. Oh, wait, no, it's right here. Aha! XP, 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 XP. Thank you. Let's go! I don't remember being here. Yes, I do. Just go check over here real quick. There's a kitty. Oh, there's a chest. Ah. She might have venomous tentacles. Lumos. Leviosa. If it's seeds I'm after, I'll uh -huh. go for the mud. No. Wait a second. What does that do? For offense. Well, I guess I'm gonna equip it. Trait slot level. No trait applied. Interesting. Wait, so what's this do? Defense. Mm, okay. Um, hold on. Rebellio. Locked door. Oh. Checking. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Right, thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold 
with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, I just started. your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! I mean, okay. Good to know I'm not just in the castle. Ah. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? So why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I know exactly what to do here. Very simple. Accio. Cast Accio on one of... Splendid! Now, uh, think of this like godstones, if you will, but in excellent control there. Very good. Very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. That is 
tower's done. Excellent control there. You. Akira. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Okay. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Oh, okay. That. Should have just been doing that from the start. Thank you very much. How do I how do I bow? Very good, both of you. Well done. Why thank you. There's a lot of a lot of learning here. A lot of learning. This is gonna be a long game. <laughs> Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit. I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Why, thank you. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. And with you. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Is he gonna ask about the dragon? Of course. You would, be upset. if you would. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Oh, Expect to you. hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Um. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? No. Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I've been fortunate. 
Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. New quest available. Revelio. How inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Revelio. What else can I explore here? This is a good I like this. I like exploration. Ew. What the heck? It's so clear. Oh god. So clearly able to be jumped. Another adventure, are we? Revelio. Here we go around this. Uh. 
That's the quest. Powers should be kept in the oldest pureblood families, like the Blacks. Wouldn't want riffraff running things. Wait a second. I've been it's here not before. Knows. Thought you'd want to know. Rebellion. This is where I had the first class. Interesting. Oh, oops. I'm not sad about this. Heck yeah. Cats. Alright, well, we need to go here. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much Frames. from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, yes, you I must understand continue this. to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll <sighs> keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Cool. Revelio. Lock. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. That's what I want. Thank you. Maybe someday. Mm. Uh, ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. 
A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Mm. Accio! Got it! A flying page must be around here somewhere. If only a new student would help me with that predicament. Brilliant. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone... Perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself. Um, we're gonna ignore that for right now. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. <sighs> Accio! Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. That's it! Very good! If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly Prepare. symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a guilty lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. I 
can certainly try. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. This is kind of cool. Revelio. Interesting. Oh, okay. That girl's mum. Gotcha. Let's go. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up. Crimson top hat. Heck yeah. Bye bye. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Got it. Got it. I've always said. Rebellion. Oh. Uh huh. Okay, wait a second. Five, six, eleven, I need another five. What? I need six and I need lizard lizard and unicorn. Lizard and unicorn. Ah. Revelio. Okay. 
18. That is a zero. I need five. Weird, hairy thing that I do not know. And five plus six is 11. I need a owl. Owl. Heck yeah. Let's go. Let's go. I raise floor. Um, interesting. Oh, I made ivory glove. That's kind of cool. Revelio. Okay. Now that I know how that works. Actually, what's my gear look like? Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, I've got it. I just don't feel like fast traveling. We're all in this together. We are traveling at a snail's pace. Forevermore. Hope I'm going the right way. I'm definitely going the right way. I've never been here before either. Never been here. Revelio. Lumos. Look in the green room. Revelio. Lumos. It is right there. Thank you. Heck yeah. <laughs> Let us go to the next challenge. I don't see a door right now. Okay, so six. I need spider thing, hairy spider thing, and then eat one nine for owl hairy spider thing, hairy spider thing. Owl. Heck yeah. Revelio. What am I looking at here? First off, we're gonna go all the way. Rebellion. Ravenclaw door. Cool. It is oddly placed in my opinion. Although it is very high up, so that does check out as a bird. Alright, um... I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Cool. 
Oh, what the heck. Revelio. Okay then. Assuming one is out there then. Revelio. Resource indeed, your field guide. I am what? Maybe it's not in here. Kind of weird. Really weird. But yeah. Go. As I need. As I always Lizard and lizard. It's not lizard and lizard. Try that. Where's the other one? This seems logical. I'm stupid. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't watch this. No. <laughs> Three. Three headed snake. Hydra. Twelve. Seven. Seven is octopus. Go plus fifteen. Eighteen. That is five. Five is five leg thing. I need five leg thing. Right there. I need that. Unless this is it. This is not it. The goat is not three. That is two. I need lizard for sure. Six. 
I was right the first time. Seven, I need the octopus thing. Did I not do this combination? I could have. Mm. Lumos. Revelio. Revelio. I do not know how to get there. Oh my gosh. I'm... I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. What are you up to now? Revelio. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. Okay, we're going to return. I'm far away. Sorry. Revelio. had more luck than I did track Hello Zenobia. Really? Common sense and big Well. Of course. Oh, how wonderful. Now that I have all my gobstones back. I'm sure they'd be willing to play off. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have very well. Off Okay, so, go to gear, what did that unlock for me? 
I like this. I like that. I'm okay with this. This. 368. Whatevers. All right, let's go. On a second thought, let's go. I All right. And I started running. And I just kept running. Oh, can't go that way. So okay. Cuz I'm just going to keep running. Okay, let's go. Nine, five. I need go. That's not it. Where's the other thing at? Rebellion. The goat. Some of us are tidier than others. That is a goat plus eleven. Need a spider. Spider? Spider. I miss having my own bed. Spider, spider, spider. Nope. That thingy. We stayed up almost the entire night. Two plus eleven is thirteen. Eight. I need spider. I need Hydra. I God. I am terrible. Rebellion. Equip. Right now, 
That is the most, because I cannot put traits on anything, which I don't know if that's supposed to be like enchantments or not. I've already been here. Rebellion. Another adventure, are we? Rebellion. Ah. Well, fancy music. Rebellion. I just constantly have the correct gear applied. I despise that, but we're gonna go with it now. Lumos. Okay, let's get to this store shop place. Hello, Sebastian. <laughs> ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supply. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best. Hogsmeade's a ch I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Well, Lumos. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Protego! Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. <laughs> Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. Seems. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Got well, really big I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. 
She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Lumos. Marlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look. What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. You think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already made. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. <laughs> they think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, <coughs> places to discover. Oh? Hmm. Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. It's all in the, it's all in the drip, man. It's all in the I've drip. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably, that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Lumos. Interesting. Mr. Moon. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. A Demi guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Revelio. Heck yeah. My frames. Giddy. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get. A wand and... Yes. Perfect. Can't wait. And a short list gives you... I just have to pop into a shop to find... Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade.
I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, uh, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, I... About time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm. It's so good, it's oh, giving me frame failure. Ten and a half inches? Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Curious indeed. Intriguing. Curious indeed. Unyielding sycamore. How I don't intriguing. Know. Curious indeed. Ooh, ebony. Okay. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed.
It's going to be older. How intriguing. Where did Alder go? Is Alder. Ebony Alder. Oh. Oh. All right. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. A map. I would imagine so. And the bond between you and your... Do not? That sounds wonderful. I'll let you get... Revelio. Welcome to J. Pippin's Rebellion. Presence. Pardon me, sir. Oh, though I do. It's my first time in. <sighs> Is it? Uh, I don't uh, I sure. Is it not? A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake. They, as it's your first time, I also. But for now, let. What can I do for you today? Temporary unavailable. Temporary unavailable. Temporary unavailable. Oh. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. No. <laughs> I will do without any more. Alright, so I have one more thing to look at, and I think... Kitty. There's so many cats, I love it. Uh, I hope we are close to being done with the tutorial. This is all tutorial section. First off, hold on. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, so where am I going? I thought. Oh, okay. An inquiring mind. Revelio. Whoa. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcraft. Matilda, I take it? I'm a... Ah, uh, of course it is. Stay the... That's... Uh... And I... Spellcraft, sir. But I shall... A potting tea? I believe so, sir. Good. Let's look at what we have, shall we?
If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. start getting into more like actual combat we'll have lots of stuff potentially Rebellion. seems like i'm just gonna be locking Let me guess, you're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Oh, yeah, we're everything. not gonna. Better go and find Sebastian. I am not going to waste my time until I start actually fighting things. Which, by that I mean until it's too late for me to change anything about this. Let's go. I officially have one. Excellent. I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Troll, did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard, 
Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of Honora, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Akia. Repair her. if you would. I'll go and see what he wants. Repairer. Revelio. Repairer. Repairer. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Revelio. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Revelio. Levioso. Accio. Repairer. Revelio. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls. I was happy to help. <laughs> Frankly, you... I own gla... And as I... Thank you, Miss... It's the least I can... Uh, now, uh, let's try this. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I'd say we've earned... I sell even more. Okay, first off, that's a cool robe and all, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. Items, should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. These robes, pretty, pretty freaking cool. 
Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade, that all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> Our timeline. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Rebellion. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. I can see that. She didn't seem at all. I think you'll need to... Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon. If you don't want to risk another detention, forget... Just travel. 
Screw it. Ah, this is intriguing. Although there's there's a lot of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 